So this week, uh, got to play around with a Chris uh, Vector. That's K R I S S. 
Vector. Um, the one I shot, it was a, a 45 ACP. It comes in a 9mm too, comes full auto, you know, like a bunch of guns come with different, different options, different calibers, uh, different fire rates, stuff like that, you know, and then people can customize too, you know, binary triggers are big right now, you know, before they were bump stocks, uh, stuff like that, so, but the one I shot, semi-auto, 45 ACP, uh, it was a good gun, I liked it, I like it, they, I think they run about like 1500 you can find them cheaper, but the one, I got shot with the like full suppressor type extended barrel, um, making it like 16, 16 inches with the barrel extended like that. Um, and it has the adjustable stock to it. Um, come with, with flip up sights, which that's all I was shooting, just flip up sights, no uh, high price. Um, optics, red dots, none of that. But you saw the grouping, it's still good recoil. Um, it's kind of like my Ruger uh, 5.7, um, like almost no kick. I think it's the, the design of the gun. Uh, if you look in the video, you can kind of see where, like, the recoil kind of goes out of the, the magazine well. Like, like, so when you're shooting it, especially for a 45, because my, uh, my 1911 to 45, and that, that thing got some kick. Even with, um, I got a compensator on it and all that stuff, it still still got some kick, you know, because it's shooting a 45 round. With that extended barrel and the way the gun design, like that 45 don't kick at all. Um, I, I almost felt like I was shooting subs hunting rounds, um, shooting like that, to be honest. So uh, it's, it's a good gun. I, I like it. I don't own it. I don't know if I might own it later or whatever i do got a, a fetish so i do be my gun so it's not next up on my list I can, I can definitely tell you that i got some other stuff that's next up on my list then i shot everybody's favorite now my my trash ass 300 blackout <laughs> my trash setup that i got on but swapped it up a little bit i went just took the uh the ut C or the UTC red dot off of my my 22 long rifle, um, just to switch it up. That's the basic little little red dot. Switched it up. Um, put this on there. Didn't even didn't even sight it because my um, my bore sight uh, died on. Uh, you may not know. I got a uh, bore sight that. It chambered like a two, two, three, five, five, six. And, um, it didn't, you know, on the packaging it didn't say three hundred blackout, but you know, three hundred blackout, pretty much that same shell case. So it'll, it'll chamber into a, into a three hundred blackout. But um, for reason, I don't know if the laser on is just weakened or what, but I, I couldn't even get it. So this wasn't sighted in. That's normally how I sight my red dots in with a laser bore. Uh, so even not sighted, coming straight off a different rifle to this, still grouping uh, to the same. It was a little bit to the right. I could have just adjusted uh, off sight, but again, I'm just shooting for fun. Uh, had a good day at the range. Got a little stuff off my mind, but I think I'm going to end up changing this stock. I done had it on here since I, since I bought this gun, so I think it's time for me to change it up a little bit. Um, so that'll probably be something coming up too. I'm gonna change this stock on this, maybe change some other little things. Just switch around, like, if you look at my October 28th video, I got a bunch of attachments and different things just sitting around. So um, I might just start playing around with different stuff, changing the setups a little bit. I may buy some, some new things because I got some, some new things coming to the collection. So we'll be switching stuff, some stuff up, but all in all, it was really just a review of the, the Vector. I do like it. Um, it's a good gun. If you were thinking about it or if you ever seen one, uh, I, the only thing I say is uh, come with a 13 round mag. I would say get an extended mag when you, if you get it, because um, the you know 13 rounds goes kind of fast. You know, depending on what state you're into, um, I don't know the mag capacities and all that, but um, Tennessee. 
it's good. You can get as many extended mags as you want, as, as much as they make. If they make a drone for it, get the drone. Um, it'll just be fun to shoot. No recoil. You know, easy for anybody to really pick up and shoot. Um, then you got big tinny rails, so you can add all the attachments you want. Got uh, one under the barrel too. Um, even with the mag release being in a weird spot, because it's like on the four, the fore grip of the gun, you don't have to run the risk of like accidentally pressing it and dropping your mag. That's still good. Um, oh, then yeah, if you can see in the video with me loading that gun, uh, you have to have the uh, the action open to load the magazine in. It will not. You can smack it as hard as you want or whatever. It's not gonna load in with uh, with the action closed. So you have to open the action, leave it open, pop the mag in, then chamber your round. Um, but uh, that's the only things I got on that gun. But it's it's good. Um, probably shoot something different next time too. Shoot something about the collection and shoot something something else. And then like I said, we got some. Two, two or three new things coming soon. So, be on the lookout. Appreciate everybody watching. Just like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Thanks again.